block. It could be both, obviously. Um, loot order, so this means it's more or less a token druid. Or or some really strange normal or druid. Or some echo <laughs> druid. <laughs> where, where you go on the well, is token. Well, there's something missing in his starting hand, as you see. A wild growth. No, a golden loot hoarder. Um, <laughs> we got the Twilight Drake already for obvious, so we get a hand lock. It could turn out good if there's no Keeper of the Grove for Echop. I like the Mortal Coil actually turn one. If there is for for Echop the like the coin loot hoarder, um, there's always a Mortal Coil danger. Well, it's pretty clear that he starts with Margin Squire in my opinion. Would you go for the Life Tab or actually drop a Sunfury Protector to like break the shield and then next turn Life Tab Mortal Coil? I would go for the life tap because I have a Twilight Drake on my hand and want to have him as strong as possible. Yeah, the loot order will get model called. Ah. Then I think even another life tap. I, I like the turn three play. It's like so cool. You can life tap and model call. It's like two two really good options actually to to get rid of one minion and to get more cards. He even gets hmm. the Iron Beak Owl. Yeah, that's strong against the Harvest Golem. If he doesn't decide to just throw it down to get rid of the Divine Shield. Hmm. Well, the, the good thing about getting rid of the Divine Shield in this situation would be you get rid of it definitely since Echo wants to have a turn 3 or turn 4 play. So yeah. he's not going to hear ability up to kill your Iron Beak Owl. I think you want to keep it maybe for just silencing a Violet Teacher if you have no other option. And right now he doesn't have any options. That might be good. Hmm. Now he's considering life tap or not, or maybe drop a minion. Those are his options at the moment. Well, there's the Sunfury play, the Owl play, and the life tap. I prefer the life tap. And this situation, I would just agree on the life tap. You're just getting the super Twilight Drake. The annoying thing is if your Twilight Drake is actually dying to something. Keeper. Like, yeah. Keeper Argent Squire. <laughs> Keeper Arjun Squire. That's why he might consider actually going for the Owl or for the Sunfury Protector to kill the Arjun Squire. And then, well, if he plays the Keeper of the Grove, you can kill the Keeper of the Grove with your minion instead of just getting killed. Yeah. Oh. This is going to be so annoying for obvious. So he has the Twilight Drake. This is going to get wrecked. A giant. Perfect. A giant. Perfect. It's like just what he needed. But now... Now Obvious has to decide. Do I play the Giant and I might run into a big game hunter? Or do I go for the Twilight Drake? I think going for the Giant here makes more sense because you know there are two Keeper of the Grove but m in most cases, only one big game hunter. If there is even a big game hunter. If there is even a big game hunter, that's some, true. some players put him actually out since there were no not so many decks which actually play above eight minions. So the Zula, uh, the Handlock is one of them. We got the Selness plus a Raz, but even that won't kill the Giant. A Swipe plus the minions won't kill the Giant. So in this turn, he won't be able to kill the Giant actually. So he could just go for the Selness and then just, okay, Selness, thank you. Maybe even Raz for the Karcha or just Raz for four. Really? I would Raz for four because then you bring him down and you could kill him with a swipe next turn. If yeah. It snowballs out of control. So down to four. Just go for the face. The good thing is you're not going to lose the whole board. That's just impossible. I mean, how, how does he want to kill the whole board? <laughs> no way. I like the Urzen Ring Farsi I played, though. <laughs> He's just going to. I would actually consider Urzen Ring in combination with. Hmm. Silence on the harvest, so far at the harvest. Something like I that. Think he could go Earthen Ring and then throw the Sun Fury Protector between both. Like like heal your giant and go for the face. Just apply pressure. Yeah, but do you want to leave the Salness alive? That's like my big question. I would. As I, I hate having a Salness in my enemy's hand alive. You mean on the board? Of course you do. But what do you want to use against it? Well, he could, worst, craziest scenario, <laughs> attack the Harvest Golem or the Argent Squire and Shadow Flame. Crazy scenario. Would never do that. I think the Urzen Ring and then Sun Fury or the Iron Beak Owl, both plays are pretty cool. Uh, I like the Iron Beak Owl more. Yeah, so now you silence away. You not only take away the spell damage, also you also. The card draw. Yeah, the card draw. And I think that's like the crucial part of this move. 
you got gonna get hurt now. I mean, there's gonna be the swipe and then this attack with your minions into it. That's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You can swipe, you trade in your harvest golem and a minion, and then you can still, with the coin, actually kill the earthen ring forest here. But you lose. No, you keep the Archon Squire alive. Yeah. That's just perfect. You trade into the right one and you kill the left one with your leftover stuff. And you get your 2 1 minion still. Like your, your Harvest Golem remains. They're going to survive. So that was a really good play for Echo. To be honest, this looks this looks good for Obvious. He could just throw down the Twilight Drake with, Sun, with Sunfury Protector or even better, just Life Tap. And then, oh, well, life tap and life giant. giant now. Easy case. He could have also just gone for the Sunwalker, which would be absolutely okay. Um, if he didn't get a giant, I would have just dropped the Sunwalker. I would prefer the giant now because now. he has two. Yeah, of course he could. Uh, but even then, I like the Twilight more because he can get rid of your Divine Shield so easily with the Argent Squire. It's basically you just pop it immediately. The annoying thing is, if he has a silence, for example, on your Sunwalker, well, yeah, congratulations. But if he has a silence on your Twilight Drake, okay, I'm I'm wrecked. I get wrecked. Tyrannosaurus wrecked. <laughs> Not even a little bit. So there's a giant. Wow, another swipe. But there is also the Force of Nature. So that should be just the Force of Nature clear, I think. We're just going to ignore it and charge the phase. He can't. He can't. Well, like, you can't bring him down to 11 and then run into Molten Giant, Defender of Argus, Sun, uh, Soulfire. Well, that he can not wow. care about that. That is incredibly risky play. Incredibly ballsy and risky, I agree. There with you, absolutely. Okay, we got the power overwhelming. The funny thing is he could deal 12, uh, 18, uh, 12, 16, 19 damage. If, uh, 12, 16, 19 damage is possible. With the soul fire and the hellfire and the power of overwhelming. <laughs> oh, if he had a defender of Argus, damn it, he couldn't play the uh, hellfire and the power of overwhelming bows if he had a defender of Argus. This is super funny. Just look at it. That would be 12, 16, 19 damage. And Echo would be like, what happened right now? Would you go for the Twilight plus Sunwalker or rather go for the, I don't know, Sun Fury, not Sunwalker? Or you could go, okay, you could go for Sun Fury, Power Overwhelming, Shadow Flame, Protect the Face, for example. You could also just so fire away the 4-4, uh, like, like play the Sunwalker and so fire away the 4-4. I like that play the most. Okay, Sunwalker, you so fire it away, but as you said, the shield pops easy. Hmm. The, I think the Twilight Drake is slightly better since you get uh, both minions taunted. That's what I like about this. Well, he even gets a second Soulfire if he if he knew that. <laughs> Wait, Paul Overwhelming, Soulfire, Soulfire, kill? Finish the game? No, you cannot risk that. Why not? W would it would it be enough? It would His ten. odds. Oh, he just goes for the face. Do double Soulfire. <laughs> well, now if he if he, he anyway would have won. If he anyone planned to double Soulfire, I would have gone for the Power Overwhelming. Yeah. So can he clear everything? He swipes to the left. Okay. I think that was a misplay. If but he it, it does really better. If he swipes, uh, there will be the 2-2 two -two staying alive and you lose. At the moment, Echo loses anyway. Yeah. So the Hellfire just kills him, whatever yeah, exactly. he does. That was okay, in the end, it was okay, polite by obvious. But as you said, he could have gone for the power of overwhelming. The good thing with his play is if the Soulfire draws the Soulfire. Mm. He, he would still survive and win the game. So it may have been bossy play, as you say. But it was correct if you want to play it safe. And now he's just going to win with the Hellfire. Or the power overwhelming. Wow, that was really nice for obvious here. He's going to win the first game between those two players. Mm. Nice. Did he? Does he even have double Hellfire? I wasn't sure. He had to shadow flight or act up to against a hmm, yeah against a handlock against that a handlock? can definitely work out, but As not if obvious gets a draw like last time. It was just perfect. I mean, two mountain giants. Well, that drop crazy. is perfect too. I mean, lever yeah. gnome, loot hoarder, cold light. So three minions in a row. He can just play the textbook style, as we like to say, after each other. 
Yeah, I like I like that one. Good. What we have for obvious? We cannot see his head cards at the moment. We're gonna fix that for the coming weeks. Timo has some great insight, actually. He, he coded a cool new program, so we don't have so much cutting efforts, actually. Yeah, he's a true nerd. Yeah, the best nerd we have here. Yeah, exactly. We're all working for an esports company, so we're pretty nerdy <laughs> compared to maybe people just playing computer games. We even well, not, work not compared to Timo, though. <laughs> we even work computer games. So we got Echo with an OK hand. Uh, what is there for obvious? Well, he has a mountain giant. And the Urzan Ring Farsia twice, so there could wow. be just the... Okay, just drop your Urzan Ring turn three. And the Twilight? For real? Yeah, the, the draw, I like. I like a lot. It's there you go, second. It's going to be super annoying, though, if he burns cards. I mean, there's there's a coin, so you even burn harder if the Cold Light Oracle drops on the board. Let me see. What is he going to do now? I think he might consider just going for a coin, a life tap. That's the headset of Ponyhof. Because he had to climb under the table yeah, to that do was some, some important stuff. That was Timo not not being smart enough to mute my microphone. I'm gonna I'm gonna hate <laughs> on him now for that. <laughs> well now he's not a allowed to mute my microphone afterwards. I like the Sun Fury Protector play early on. That uh, really important in my eyes to actually clear yeah. away the minions. Needs it. Another Sun Fury. Mm. I, w I would life tap now. You would life tap now. Uh, may maybe just don't do anything. I mean, you get your Urza Ring for Sia next turn. Easy mode. You wouldn't do anything? I, I want cards for my Twilight Drake. Yeah, you want uh, cards for my Twilight Drake? And the Mountain Giant. Nah, I think I think popping stuff is way better. What? The Mountain Giant is not going to win you the game in this situation. You, you're you going to win the game by staying alive. That's like your number one goal. Just win by staying alive. And he would already be down to 22 if he life tapped. And yeah, that's like too risky. And you avoid the Cold Light Oracle play, which is in my eyes the most important thing. So you avoid getting Cold Light Oracle. Okay, I don't. Earthen Ring on the Sun Fury. Okay. Well, I, I like his style. He's just trying to stay alive here. And it. Works out for him perfectly. I mean, you have the Twilight Drake. It's going to be a 4 or 5 still. And how is the 4 or 5 going to die? Eviscerate plus hero attack is actually the only thing that kills it here. And the Eviscerate is gone. Okay. I think he's going to trade and heal up again, maybe. That could actually be a possible play. If he goes for the Twilight Drake, that's actually a bit sad since it will just get sapped properly. Trade Twilight. I think. A trade, absolutely. If you go for the Twilight, that's the biggest question. Really nice for Ekab, though, having those loot hoarders. They give you so nice card draw, actually, and you really want to have the card draw. Okay, the double sab is super nice. The problem, hmm, yeah. Okay, he goes for the Twilight Drake. What, what is Ekab getting? A deadly poison? That's a goodie. Sab. Fury Dragon and then attack trade away. Attack Fury Dragon and the play the Archer Squire. Squire. Yep. Really nice end here for Akob. You're getting a good board out. The Fury Dragon can only get killed by Hellfire at the moment. You get two minions out. If there is a Cold Blood redraw, value hype, and two Sun Fury Protectors are gone, so you don't need to fear any Taunters instead uh, except the. Ooh. Well, that's that ain't surprising 100%. Uh, if he attacks and then you can kill him with a deadly poison, uh, I would have still liked the sap. I have to admit, I'm just a big fan. I see a faceless on the four five, and see, the trade into the fear dragon. Well, he could also trade and heal. Um, that's mm, and then waste two mana because right now it doesn't seem like he wants to life have a lot. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, and he wants to keep the Urza Ring Farsi and maybe for later on to heal him actually up. And if he life taps, we're going to see the attack right, and heal yeah. play. That's a great one. I like it a lot. And now, now I would sap. I would sap and deadly poison 100% after that. Oh. Yeah, now I would Assassin's Blade and deadly poison. And then FaceTime. FaceTime, especially with two saps, you could start the FaceTime. What do you need to consider? There's seven damage on the board, and you don't want to leave seven damage alive, I think. You still got 15 damage, and you got the Cold Light Oracle to draw mm. into a Blade Flurry or another Deadly Poison. I think now the time has come to actually Cold Light Oracle and hope for 
another deadly poison, blade flurry, something like that. It's time for Yeah, definitely. More blue helps more cards in your hand. Yeah, for both players. So. What would you do for obvious? Uh, actually, consider Siphon Soling to draw a card. Add uh, to draw a card to heal up. I think there is some value in that move. Mm. I think life tap. You think life tap, but he voids the life tap all the t time, and now he starts with it. Yeah. Nah. He, he, he has no other options. Oh, it's Siphon Soul. The Argent Squire. No, Get like rid of if, it. If he, mm. I like the life tap because you can actually kill him with turn 10. You only need a Leroy and then you have the 20 damage magical combo. Yeah, but you only need a Leroy out of 18 cards left. That's Easy. That's that's Easy. a long Believe in turn. the heart of the cards. There's a Deadly Poison in the second one I was talking about. GG for Akob. I'm surprised if he actually goes for the SI. Oh, he trades there. I was like, I wanted to see the seven damage Assassin's Blade. Mm. I really wanted to see it. He can still do it next turn. I mean, he has at the moment 10 damage, 12 damage on the board. I like the Void Walker in the deck. The one random Void Walker, it uh, was played uh, quite back in the while uh, quite often. I love it because you can fake being a Zulok. You can fake being a Zulog. That happened to me actually. Some someone <laughs> did it, and I was like, "Okay, let's let's kill it." And it's Zulog easy mode. The good thing is now you can drop the Sunwalker plus the Void Walker and actually so far away the three three. I think Mountain Giant plus Void Walker. Mountain Giant plus Void Walker. And then just wait. Like, I wouldn't even soul fire because there are still two steps. You wouldn't even soul fire? No. I would definitely soul fire. Really? But hey. then if, you are, if your mountain gets sapped, you can't play it again. Oh, well, it takes, like, so much mana. How many cards would he lose? Three? Okay, he, he life taps first, and he can still go for the mountain giant and the yep. minion. I would definitely soul fire since you avoid your minion to get killed. So you soul fire away, and there is the weapon. Okay, but he can he cannot kill the one three without sapping it or mm -hmm. attacking it with his weapon. So that's rather good now. Okay, wait, a no, he can deal sixteen damage. He can deal 16 damage. If he goes for the sap, deadly if poison. If he just clears his entire hand. Yeah. Would and you risk it? That's why I would have liked last turn to see the deadly poison, since he would have had two damage more in total, and it would be enough now to win the game. He wouldn't have been able to clear the board. I'm not entirely sure. He could have sapped. That was the thing. He could have sapped instead of playing a minion. Now. Or he could, could still sap now, since he has two saps in his hand. True. I just like to have a seven damage play as soon as possible. The, the only question for me is, is he really going to do it? Uh, he might trade into the Mountain Giant. Oh, he doesn't. Ekop doesn't care. Ekop saps everything. Well, he's considering it. The good thing is, he has Eviscerates in. And he actually needs to sap that minion too. He's on 19. As you say, if there's a Leroy. <gasps> well, good day, sir. Bring him down to 1 or bring him down to 3 is the big question. Him down to one, or keep the weapon and use your blade flurry next turn. Because if you yeah, he can blade flurry weapon yeah. up next turn also, just to get rid of the taunter. That way, it's better. And the good thing is he can combo the blade flurry with something, which is really important. So you can go blade flurry plus eviscerate next turn. There is th that should be game. Yeah, there's a Sunwalker, but you need two Taunters. So you need the Sunwalker plus additional Taunter, since he's just going to break your shield, Blade Flurry, weapon up, do the one damage. Wow, that's going to be GG for Akob here, just winning the game really good. Uh, the Voidwalker makes no difference at all. Just break the Divine Shield, Blade Flurry, the... Weapon up attack. Yeah, just Blade Flurry everything out of obvious. And Agob is going to win the second game between those two players. Wow. Really good. And a really long backspace rogue match, I have to say. Oh, and the hunter for obvious here. Hunter against backspace, I like it. Because there are so many minions with 1 HP and your Unleash the Hounds is super strong.
But if well, we, we're not even sure if it's full face or or a sunshinier version. Could be both. I would actually go for the full face since you got your own one drops. Or it is the version with Geddon, Ragnaros, and the Acolytes of Pain, mm. which is rather cool in this one since you have Argent Squires too. So you could counter an Argent Squire with an Argent Squire, and you could counter the other, like a Loot Hoarder, with a with a Acolyte of Pain. So there is some a trade card draw potential. Yeah, let's let's just see for the fir from the first card. It's obvious my play. <laughs> and if you're hearing actually some yelling in the stream, <laughs> that is a Take TV versus uh, Take versus Naruto. Yeah. So don't don't wonder. That's not someone getting murdered or someone getting murdered. Well, it might be, but we have it on YouTube at least. Yeah, absolutely. Echo Sand is pretty nice. I like it a lot, Ex especially the Cold Blood into like Salsi Deck and into Cold Blood Loot Hoarder into Cold Blood play. It seems to be the sunshinier version with the crocolisk. I like the sunshinier version a lot, especially the snap jaw and then go for Huntmaster. The, yeah, go for the Huntmaster. I mean, that will get sad, but still, it's just the four nine potential is obviously crazy. Wow, wow, five one already, five damage dealt. That that play is so crazy. If there's no Iron Peak Owl, there's no possibility for obvious to clear this actually. Well, a really lucky deadly shot. But it's not even lucky. For yeah, well, before. if he just trades and deadly shots, but it, sometimes they just run only one deadly shot, and you want to keep it for Mugla, at least for the potential turn three, where there could be a Mugla for mech up. In this case, I would definitely deadly shot because yes, it's you can get rid of a Mugla with a kill command. So, <laughs> what? Wait, I I don't know. We, we should we should call the police. I think that or close like the door. <laughs> we should send Timo to close the door. I think that would be great. The other door. So we got we got the kill with the unleash the hound. So one unleash is gone, which plays into Echo's favor actually. Definitely. And he can he can kill with his Salsi deck and the Crocolisk if he wants to. But if he was planning on that, I have to admit I would have run in my loot order first and then see what I get. Maybe he wants to do something else instead of just weapon up. Mm. I mean, I can I cannot imagine any card he could get in this situation. But still, there with the option to then just wait. 2-1 on the board, and nice four play. I mean, turn four, he can go for Fairy Dragon and Loot Order. So that's going to be extremely good. Mm, a four obvious. Wow, what could he have? There is a mm. possibility. Yes. Turn three, Animal Companion, get a Misha, be happy. If you get a Huffer, you're like, mm, yeah, not so optimum. No, Huffer would be horrible against the Sazi Deccan. Dead Huffer. What else? Turn three play. Could there be for a Leoc, hunter? Leoc would be great, though. Leoc would be great. I'll, I like getting a Leoc always. Leoc or Misha would exactly be what you want to have with the animal companion. And the main problem is there's a 2-1. And a hunter has several plays to kill a 2-1, but they're limited. So you got your Unleash the Dogies. He a played already shot. one. You're going to have Kane Shot. Trap, and that's about it. Yeah, well, maybe he runs a boar control. At least one boar. I think he's definitely running a boar. So, Echo was like, what the hell are you taking so long? I want to play my move. And a little companion into Huffer, oh which is so sad. You don't want to have it. Nope. <laughs> not, <laughs> definitely not. That's like where you, uh, yeah. Damn you, Huffer. I don't want you. I'll just uh, drop the Fury Dragon loot hoarder trade. Yeah. Go for the face with one damage. That was just so perfect for Echo. That was super unlucky for obvious, and I know why he took so long with that move. Well, wow. You mean, I mean, it's a 33% chance to get the Huffer, and he got unlucky. Well, that's the game, you know? You gotta play around it. Well, he, your enemy is down to 22, but I just get the feeling the Backspace Rogue can deal more damage than the Hunter, which is... Yeah, it's hard to say. There's the unleash combo, but a hunter needs okay. A hunter needs more mana to deal the damage. I mean, it's five damage this turn, six with the weapon. Well, there are two sabs. Uh, you cannot use any. Is he really gonna arcane golem and co blood? That would be 11, 13 damage. That's actually pretty sneaky for uh, for him, like going on the co blood with the loot order, since if there is not another unleash the dogies. If he if he went for it if on the arcade, unleash the dogies, he's screwed. Yeah, yeah. like Echo 
legitimately more or less lost in my opinion. Nah, he's gonna get one more card, two more cards. If he has a Leroy GG, he can sap the 5-5. Five five. So that would make a difference. I think the all-in was good and the the swapping from the the cold blood to the loot harder was exactly what you you were counting like was a double cold blood and an arcane shot at uh, double cold blood, double kill command and an arcane shot? No 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 no. So there's no no possibility obvious has enough damage to win here. Nope. He doesn't have enough damage, but I was thinking about the next Unleash the Dogus. And only with the Unleash, he wouldn't be able to clear the board. The Fairy Dragon would survive with 1 HP. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it wouldn't. It would be, he would be able to clear the board. He it would keep a 5-1. Yeah, absolutely. He just needs his Unleash now. Absolutely. Uh, but if he has it, I mean... If he had it, he would already play it. Absolutely. I agree with you there. Uh, yeah, what else? Uh, explosive Trap. Explosive Trap would work wonders. <laughs> that would be so good. The main problem is you would uh, slow yourself down, since if you have an Explosive Trap now, you're not going to attack with your 5-5. Five five. Hey, that, that would be a big, big, huge waste. Okay, Houndmaster into Arcane Shot. Oh. Kill Command. <laughs> wow. That hurt a lot, especially Ouch. since there are two subs. And a Leper Gnome. This is so good. You deal three more damage, you get two. Is, is that that's Sad. seven? That's only eight damage, but you get the Leper Gnome. That should be a win what? in total you for... Have, oh, you have the weapon. It's over. No, it's not. It's eight damage with the weapon. Yeah, as I and said. you have the Leper Gnome. Oh, okay. Yeah, play the Leper Gnome. Yeah, but, but you get the Leper Gnome. You don't even need to weapon up. So you get the two damage from the Leper Gnome, which will win you the game. Whatever happens, uh, there, there, there would be need to be a silence. So there, there needs to be a silence if he wants to survive and a taunt. And that, one Houndmaster was already played. <laughs> so that, that's what he actually needs. He needs an Iron Big Owl, and plus, Houndmaster. plus a Defender of Argus, for example, <laughs> and then he survives next turn. Not that likely to happen. <laughs> Not that likely to have. I agree there with you. And th even then, he would actually lose to the uh, to Fennel Argus and an Iron Peak Owl. He would lose to the Sap Eviscerate Weapon Attack. No, wait, wait, attack? No, no, he, yeah, Sap Eviscerate Weapon Attack. Yep. He, w he would, he would lose to that in the end, anyways. This could get lost by obvious. Echo is winning this series two one in total. Wow, that was that was, it was like as Nimsh did it. Man, those Cloud Nine players always making it interesting for us. Close matches. Oh, we get some Misha. That well, I, oh, where's the silence? Even, well, with the silence. They, even with the silence, it makes no difference. But <laughs> where's the silence now? That would exactly be what you need if you fear an eviscerate. So, four mana left for obvious. <laughs> and Echo was <laughs> like, man, I already won. Why are you still playing? <laughs> in before, a miracle from obvious. Yeah, the the miracle like Urzan Ring Farsia, Shadow Step, Urzan Ring <laughs> Farsia. Uh, I was played in uh, constructed lately, and some no, it was an arena actually, and someone popped the priestess of a loon, and I was like, no, he healed himself up and he didn't die, and I was going for full miracle mode in in arena actually. Wait, and that's oh over. Yeah, well, that's gonna be sap. He could even as I and uh, eviscerate. I. He oh. does. He doesn't even need a two attack with anything. I would have eviscerated first and then used it as I to kill my Lepanone just for swag points. And for swag points. Well, okay. <laughs> you could have gotten some 